Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube, and welcome to my channel. My latest builds, and corresponding videos, have been dedicated to group builds, but for a little change, and before starting the Pro Street group build, let me show you something that I also really enjoy doing, and for those who follow my channel should not be new, that is the restoration of old builds. So, in this video, I'm going to share with you, a quick restoration of a Ford Mustang Cobra II, a 1978 model that was driven by Charlie Kemp, number 23, from Team Dobbs. The model kit is from Gun Sanjo, number G139, in 1 24th scale. This build came almost complete, just missing the two side mirrors, as well as the exhaust side pipe, from the driver's side. The body was not painted, with the decals not in good shape, and part of the blue double stripe decals, have been replaced with a very poorly painted, blue single stripe. As this is a curbside model, and is supposed to be a motorized kit, the underside of the chassis is actually very basic. But it is what it is, and obviously I can't do much to improve that. Some other details I need to paint, or repaint, but now, let me show you my restoration process. This kit had two roll bars, one on the front, and the other on the rear. I decided to build a complete roll cage, so, I added two bars connecting the tops of both roll bars, then I grabbed from my parts box, the two sides, leftovers from a NASCAR kit. With some minor adaptations, they fit perfectly. All the roll cage was painted silver, and the window safety net was first painted flat white, and then, whether to give it a more used and realistic look, as I saw in a reference picture. In the interior, I disassembled all the parts, and repainted them better. The dashboard before was painted black, with gauges silver. So, I repainted it with flat black, and detail painted the gauges, as well as other parts, like the fire extinguisher, the gear lever, the pedals, the steering wheel, and the central control box. The bucket seat was in the raw plastic, just with the seat belts painted red. So, I painted it with flat black, touched up the red on the seat belts, and painted silver the seat belt buckles. Underside, I just painted it flat black, then painted silver some of the details, and dry brushed with silver all the black area. I also removed the electrical switch, and the gear wheel from the rear axle, used for the kit motorization. The wheel rims were repainted silver, with the central spokes painted gold. With this, the chassis as well as the interior, are finished. So, let's see now the body restoration. First, I started by removing all the decals, as well as by stripping the poorly painted blue single stripe. Then, after sanding some mold lines, I used white primer as base color. After repainting the previously removed taillights, I reinstalled them on the body, and I also painted with silver, the interior of the intake under the front grille. Finally, I gave all the body a coat of clear, TS-13, from Tamiya, to have a gloss base for placing the new decals, and to blackwash the panel lines. The missing side mirrors will be replaced by these ones, from scale production. I think they are similar enough to the original ones for this car. I found on eBay this new set of decals, and I'm happy because now I can reproduce the number 23 livery, for my Ford Mustang Cobra II. And here they are, all the decals placed on the body. For the trims around the front, the rear, and the side windows, I used metal foil, and I blackwashed with Tamiya panel line accent color, the grill near the front window, as well as the panel lines of the doors, of the trunk lid, and of the fuel tank cap. Additionally, I painted with silver the hood lock pins, and with black, the water expressors, as well as the windshield wiper. I installed the side mirrors, which were painted dark blue, and as this is a race car, and based on a reference photo that I found, I scratch build and installed, a tow hook for the front bumper. To finalize the body paint work, the rear bumper holes were painted with flat black. But before that, I clear coated all the body with Vallejo acrylic gloss varnish, that gives a thicker coverage, to seal the decals, and gives the body a brighter appearance. I painted with silver the bars on the rear window, and the rearview mirror on the front window, was repainted with black. The front grille was painted flat black, and is ready to be installed. 
One of the exhaust side pipes was missing, so, I scratch built a new one, trying to get it, as similar as possible to the existing one. Then, I painted both with aluminum, and weathered the tips with soot, from the Tamiya Weathering Master B. The side air intakes were also repainted with flat black, before installing them in the body. And the transparent cover for the front, I black washed with the Tamiya panel line accent color, to give it a tinted glass look. After proceeding with the final assemblies, I snapped the body to the chassis, and this project is done. So, let's see the restoration result. But first, and to remember, this was the initial status of the model kit, before the work I just showed for the restoration process. This build came almost complete, just missing the two side mirrors, as well as one exhaust side pipe, with the decals not in good shape, and with a very poorly painted, blue single stripe, covering the body from front to back. And now, finally, let's turn the page and see the result for the new life of this model kit. As a final touch, after finalizing the build, I weathered with soot, from the Tamiya Weathering Master B, the body areas near the exhaust tips, to give them a dirty appearance, due to exhaust fumes expelled from the engine. I'm happy how this restoration turned out, maybe it doesn't faithfully represent the original Ford Mustang Cobra 2, number 23, but it's my version, and I think it's much better than it was before. I hope you also like it, and stay tuned, because I also have some static pictures of the kit at the end. The Ford Mustang Cobra 2 was a limited edition King Cobra model, with only 4,313 produced, and it was powered by a 2.3-liter V8 engine, with 141 horsepower. The Cobra 2 featured distinctive styling elements that set it apart from the regular Mustang models of its time. It often came with a unique hood scoop, front and rear spoilers, and racing stripes. The intention was to give the car a more aggressive and sporty appearance. The Dobbs No. 23 car was raced by Charlie Kemp in the 1978 Trans AM series, finishing the season in 12th place overall, with a best finish of 5th place at Road Atlanta. That car is now on display at the Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Thank you for watching, and thank you to all my subscribers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and comment down below, with any question or feedback. See you in the next video.